Question 87, Geometry CST Release Test Questions. A square is circumscribed about a circle. That means the square is on the outside, the circle is on the inside. What is the ratio of the area of the circle to the area of the square? So let's first write down what they're asking us for. Area of a circle compared to the area of the square. That's our ratio that we're looking for. Um, let's get a visual aid to help us out too. Okay, uh, and here we have a circle, and the area of the circle is in white here, and we have a square, and the area of the square is equal to the area of the white part that's inside the circle added to the yellow area that's outside the circle but inside the square. So we want to find out what the ratio is of the white area to the sum of the area, the white and yellow areas. Um, okay, so if we know that we have a radius of r on the circle, then that must mean that the side of the square must be two r's, r plus r, um, as you can see there. So uh, we have a length of the side of the square is 2r. And we know that the area of a, the formula for the area of a square is side times side. Or in this case, it'll be, well, I'll write side times side. And area of a circle is pi times radius squared. Okay. which is equal to, in our case here, we have pi, and we'll leave r as the radius squared, pi times radius squared, over, uh, we have side squared for the area of a square. Uh, but now we're going to substitute for side squared, we have a side is equal to 2r, so... Our formula for the area of a circle is already ready to go, but let's finish with the formula for the area of a square. So we're going to keep pi times r squared on the top. On the bottom, we're going to have 2r in place of the s squared. So we have to in square that entire quantity. So we're going to be left with pi times r squared on the top over 2 squared is 4 times r squared is r squared. Well, if you notice, we can actually cancel out those r squareds. Um, they will cancel with each other, forming 1. Uh, 1 times pi will leave you with pi on the top, and 1 times 4 will leave you with 4 on the bottom. So you'll be left with a ratio of pi over 4. And if you notice, that is our answer to question D.